So let's say that you and your partner have been thinking about starting couples therapy and you're ready to get started. Next step, you hit up your trusty search engine and type in couples therapy near me only to be met with over a hundred different results. How do you know who's going to be the best fit for you and your partner? What approach best suits your goals? What credentials are needed in a provider? And what questions do you have for each other in getting started? How can expectations be addressed with each person to ensure that everyone feels like they're on the same page? All of these questions can feel a little overwhelming, but as a couples therapist myself, I'm here to help you come up with a blueprint for questions that are helpful that you can ask each other, and also questions that you can ask a couples therapist when you're interviewing them to make sure that the person you're working with is a great fit for your needs. In today's video, we'll be talking about what to look for and what questions you might benefit from asking when you're searching for a couples therapist. There's a lot to discuss, so let's get into it. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Dr. Kate Balistrieri. I'm a licensed clinical and forensic psychologist, a certified sex therapist, certified sex addiction therapist, and a packed couples therapist, and the founder of Modern Intimacy, which is a therapy practice with practitioners nationwide. If you're interested in topics about sex, relationships, and mental health, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Comment below any questions that you have on this video or future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter by going to modernintimacy.com newsletter. Before we start identifying helpful questions, let's dispel a few common misconceptions about couples therapy, which is that couples therapy is only necessary if you and your partner are one fight away from a breakup or a last resort solution. As a couples therapist, I hear all the time from the couples that I work with that they feel embarrassed or even ashamed that they're sitting together across from a therapist. Well, let me be the one to tell you that therapy of any kind can be helpful, whether you and your partner have only had a few small fights or if you're on the brink of breaking up. What I find is that the couples that wait to come to a therapist after months or years of unresolved issues and resentment typically have a harder time coming back from their conflict versus couples who begin couples therapy quickly after identifying that they've bumped into an ongoing issue. Realizing that you and your partner need outside support is not only okay, it can be really healthy and ultimately benefits the relationship in the long run if you address the concerns that you're facing sooner rather than later. Going to couples therapy doesn't make you and your partner or the relationship as a whole a failure. In fact, it's incredibly brave to do the scary work of asking for help in your relationship, especially when you feel you've exhausted other options. So before we get into what questions to ask a couples therapist, let's start with questions to ask each other. Taking time to sit down with each other to discuss your questions and concern can really help you identify where each of you are starting and what you're hoping to get out of the process of couples therapy together. It can also help you decide what anxieties are present for each of you, which is a really helpful starting point to develop empathy for your shared goals. Next, what are your goals for therapy? Start by talking about what you hope to achieve through the process of couples therapy. This can involve things like improving your communication, resolving conflicts, creating more time and space for intimacy, or strengthening your connection. When you talk about these questions with your partner, it might become apparent that you and your partner have different goals. That's totally okay. And it happens. So nothing to worry about. Instead of deciding whose goals are more important, try holding space instead for all of your goals. It's the therapist's job to help the relationship thrive so they can take into account what all parties need in order to feel fulfilled and have the issues resolved. What issues or challenges do you want to address in therapy? Be open and honest about the problems or concerns you'd like to work on together. Couples therapy success depends on the couple's ability to show up with a willingness to be vulnerable. Challenges can be anything that you and your partner are currently navigating, anything from mismatched libido, frequent arguing, differences in parenting styles, or differences in your culture. You can also consider challenges that you might face in the future, like disagreements about if and when to start a family, how to navigate money in your coupleship, and any other number of things. Next, are there any personal expectations or boundaries you'd like to set for therapy? Consider each of your natural comfort level in the process and any preferences or limits that either of you may have. Boundaries can include anything that you will or will not tolerate during couples therapy. For example, if your partner tends to cut you off when you're speaking, you might set a boundary that you're going to leave the therapy session if your partner cuts you off. It's also the therapist's job to catch that when it's happened and keep everyone accountable regarding boundaries and expectations 
for the sessions. Next question, how will we communicate during therapy? You and your partner might discuss how you plan to share your thoughts and feelings during sessions and establish ground rules for active listening and respectful communication. How will you plan to hold space for each other if you reach a disagreement or you hit a roadblock? How will you collectively communicate to the therapist if you feel like more support is needed around these agreements or if something just isn't working? Are we both committed to putting in the effort required for therapy to be effective? Understanding your mutual commitment to the process is crucial. Crucial. It's definitely beneficial to ensure you're on the same page with your partner and that you both feel motivated to begin and sustain the therapeutic process. But that doesn't mean you both have to be in exactly the same place. You might discuss what potential situations could present a lack of commitment. How will you know if you're losing motivation and how can you keep each other accountable and motivated? Now that you and your partner have discussed questions for yourselves, let's talk about questions that can help you and your partner find the right therapist for your needs. These questions questions are intended to help you and your partner get a better feel for the style and approach that a therapist you're interviewing takes to best understand if you both feel like it would be a good match. These questions are just suggestions, so of course you might have additional questions that aren't mentioned here, and please add those to the list. What is your approach to couples therapy? Understanding the therapist's theoretical framework can help you determine if it aligns with your preferences. There are so many different styles and, and theoretical orientations relevant to couples therapy, so don't be afraid to ask the therapist to explain their approach and talk about what it is about their approach that would be really helpful for you and your partner. Some approaches are more appropriate for certain situations and goals, so the therapist can offer insight into why one approach could be better for you at this time versus another approach. What experience do you have working with couples facing similar issues to ours? It's really important to know if the therapist has competence and expertise in dealing with your specific concerns. This is especially true if what you're coming to therapy for is a bit more complex, you know, such as working through infidelity or overcoming an addiction, navigating a history of sexual trauma or coercion, just to name a few examples. If you and your partner have goals that are related to sexuality, and you may want to understand your therapist's experience working with sexuality and intimacy issues, and especially in the context of couples therapy. It can be really helpful to assess if the therapist seems sex positive and confident in talking about issues related to sexuality. This is where it can be really, really helpful to make sure you're seeking out a sex therapist who's also trained in couples therapy if you're specifically looking for help with your sex life. What is your style of therapy and what can we expect during sessions? Knowing the therapist's style of conducting sessions and what to expect can help all partners feel more at ease. Your therapist can clarify things like how they work with couples specifically, and if they have any guidelines or framing for whether or not they will also conduct individual sessions in addition to seeing you as a couple. What are the therapist's time boundaries? What are their cancellation policies? Make sure that you're aligning with a therapist who can meet your needs for scheduling and resourcing. How do you handle conflicts or disagreements between partners during couple therapy? So different therapists will have different interventions and styles of managing disagreements that come up in the session. It could be really helpful to get a sense with any potential therapist that you're interviewing about how they approach high conflict situations or disagreements when there's an impasse and when it's happening in the session. What is your availability and your scheduling process? So this question is really helpful if you have complicated schedules or you're balancing a lot on your plate. You want to ensure that the therapist you work with can accommodate your schedules so you and your partner can commit to the process. The last thing you need is the additional stress of scheduling. Finding the right couples therapist for your needs can be tricky, and it can feel overwhelming to sort through the different specialties and modalities credentials, and more. It's possible that you may need to interview a few different therapists so you can get a sense for each therapist's style, their approach, their theoretical orientation, and discuss what it sounds like it would be like for you to work with that therapist as a couple. Asking the necessary questions amongst each other and with a therapist is a really great start in getting support for your relationship. Keep in mind that therapy is a collaborative process between partners and a therapist, so finding someone who can allow you to provide feedback and be present in the process together can help you further progress towards your goals. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like more topics like this one, and feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. If you want to check out Modern Intimacy to see if one of our providers can help you, you can do so anytime by going to modernintimacy.com contact for a free 30-minute consultation.